<laughs> Hello, guys. I don't know what's so funny, but we're back with part 15 of Let's Play Awesome PlayStation 2 Landscapes. In this episode, we're playing a game known as The Third Age. So we just entered the Plains of Rohan, the home of the Horse Lords. And we are to be rallying Eumir's men. And what? Oh, I... Alright, I, I, I see what's going on right here. I see what's going on right here. I, I can save a lady. Don't worry. Uh, we got some more... Ooh, elite orcs. So you guys are supposed to be stronger. Well, let me see. Can you survive a loud water? Oh god, they can actually survive a loud water. Now, this is gonna be interesting. Because that's like the best attack we got here. Oh god, they're pretty strong. Right, this is gonna be interesting. I know the gull is for like a breeze. But I have a feeling this is gonna be interesting again. Mm hmm. Here we go. Let's do this thing. Bam! Crippling on Idril. We can survive that. Hmm. You guys got something new? Alright, but I should be able to kill you guys, right? I'm not able to kill them, but we learned Water Stallion! That's like the best spirit attack on Earth! And we gotta start upgrading spirit again with Idril. If she can't really- if she, if she can't kill them. Wow. Oh, and we gotta go play evil mode. Right, I, I almost forgot evil mode. Alright, after this fight, we're gonna play evil mode. We're also gonna- Oh, we're gonna learn Water Stallion. Can you believe it? I know I can't. Ah, he's not gonna die. If they can survive Idril, they can survive Barathor. Yeah, that one guy's dead soon anyways. I'm just gonna do a little bit of uh, stone humor on you. I don't know why I can't finish that guy with the, with the least health, but I really want him to die of the damage over time thing. Which is actually a pretty bad idea. And I have to pay the price for my OCD. Uh, that's how it goes. There he died. That was what I was waiting for. Ouch. So, I do. Why don't you finish this guy off? Alright, um... Oh, I'm looking forward to using the Water Stallion. Although, I think it... Uh, I think we need, like, 200 AP to use it. it would still be pretty good. I do levels. Oh, Berthor can't have a good health situation at the moment. He does get a new sword. Is it going to be the Morgul Blade? I told you not to be engaged with orcs. You must say the surviving warriors still fight. Oh, is the warrior in the village? We gotta go save her. Old hatreds. Salaman turns Rohan into a battlefield. He has used his power to drive them into a war they cannot win. He cares not. For the destruction will prevent Rohan from mobilizing in Gondor's defense. One by one, the villagers of the Riddermark were burned. Their horsemen disperse, their will weaken. As all of the land flees south to Edoras, Saruman's armies will march on what remains. Now those are the cool Urukais. Those are the ones I want to be meeting. Right, we gotta set uh, skills on Idril. You're not gonna learn Valnor Endurance, okay? You're gonna start learning Gift of Greyhaven. Good. And now, we need some more spirit up in here. Because they're stronger again. More cons. You gotta take some more damage, man. Like, seriously. Um... <clears throat> Alright, we gotta run back to the save station. And then we're going to... Wait, we don't really need to run back to the save station when I think about it. No, no, we do not. We can just go to options. And... Quit. Senhor dos Anes. Ah, tercera era. Trademarks. More evil mode. I must say, I'm getting really used to this game. I love it. I hope you love it as well. I love you all. I even love puppies. Yay, Rohan. Alright, East End Gullies. Because these evil modes get a lot harder. Uh, some evil modes are incredibly hard, actually. So, let's see here. Mm-hmm. 
I'm actually kind of afraid for this battle because, wow, I got a lot of strong people here. Uh, first off, Aronel. I guess he's our first target. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> wow, that was a good start, skipping the orc turn. <laughs> Alright, I'm not thinking right. Uh, damaging shield, I should probably put that on... Or, a damaging shield doesn't help if they're not close to us. So, Uruk Balt. I know that Aronel can take a lot. And what kind of shield is that, Barathor? Are you cheating to get a better shield? At least you're not using Hadhood. And this battle is kind of tough. Please tell him I get reinforcements. I do not get reinforcements! Alright, come on now. Alright, luckily they nerfed Aronel, so he's not as strong. Alright, now, who's next? I believe... Idriel would be the biggest threat. Mm. Now, Elagos is a threat too, but Idriel can heal and such. And she has loud water. I hate loud water. I drill. It's time to die. Fire away. Alright, you better hit because we can't do this if all of you guys. Okay, good. Another war call. Finish her. Right, now we quickly gotta take out Elagos, because with Elagos down we can win this. And now you start shooting at uh, Barathor over there. Alright. Right, it's Elagos time. If Elagos uses Arrow Flurry, we're pretty much screwed. Ah, oh, he's going for the captain. God dang it. And he regained all of his health. Oh crap. Alright. Uh, we gotta use Urk Bolt because I don't think there's any point in using War Call. Oh, god dang it! Oh, I've oh, I'm so screwed right now. Alright, next turn is Berthor. What is he gonna do? I wonder. Come on, we can do this! Oh god, this is gonna be a close one. This is gonna be a really close one. Blinding shot, eh? Alright, we lost the captain. Yes! Ah, we won. We won. That was a very close battle. But Berthor can't do anything against me. Oh god, that was close. Now, that was a tough evil mode. Oh, you have a lot of health, Berthor. Bam. I just gotta make a save state here in case we fail on the next evil mode. That's the beauty of emulators. And I'm gonna... <gasps> Chew! Wow! I'm sorry. That was a sneeze. Critical hit and Barathor is down. Right, the white hand is Sarah, man. Right, this one, blood strike, and we're gonna do grave wounds. Um, Hadhood. He often does pretty sick damage, although it seems he seems to be using like the first axe by the looks of it. Grave wounds. Now we're gonna do blood strike. Just finish this guy quickly. Orc Bane. Do I look like an orc to you, man? I'm from Isengard. My name is Uruk. Last name Hi. Counter-attack, bitch. Think about that. Oh no, we got a Dwarven Cleave coming up. Alright. Uh, we'll put a damaging shield on... Uh, who should we put it on? This guy, I like this guy. He's pretty cool. Okay, good. And now put a damaging shield on this guy, because damaging shields are actually pretty useful. Alright, now we will put Grave Wounds on Hydro.
Oh, and she died. And now, perhaps finish off this guy. Farewell, Haddad. Been nice knowing ya. And uh, why not play some grave wounds on Berthor as well? Citadel Rage, eh? Haha. <laughs> he took a lot of damage from the damaging shields. And. He is dead. He is dead as rock. I don't know. Alright, next battle. I gotta make a save state quickly. Oh, we're playing as the old warg. Oh god, how's this battle gonna turn out? I think I can do this. I hate Black Times because without them this could possibly be a really very very good let's play, but with it, uh, let's see, stunning. I actually want to go take out Elegosts, simply because of his creature bane. Ah, what did he say to that, eh? Do I look like an orc? You know, Ber Berthor's blind, he needs some glasses, he thinks everybody's an orc. Alright, if, if you do over 1000 damage, you might new. No, you're missing. Typical Hatter behavior. I could just double. Ah, uh, he's, he's pretty dead, anyways. We're gonna stun Hat Hood. Nom 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 nom. We're so huge. We should just chop their head off. Alright, he's doing about the same damage as Elegos. That's not cool. And Elegos is back on track. That is not cool. Uh, let's just finish him. Oh yeah, you're dead, man. Heck, of another Citadel Rage. Mm-hmm. Now, double clawing on you. See if you can survive this, Hadhood. Good. And now we'll do a stunning bite. And yeah, we got this battle. I think this is the last battle of the evil mode. And now... Quick clawing! Perfect. We did it! Polished elf stone of different types of defense. Uh, oh, if you got a polished elf stone of spirit enhancement, I would be so freaking happy. Alright, we'll place him here. Hmm. Saving data. Alright, what time we at? Ooh. Not even halfway through the episode. Senor dos Anes. Oh, the load. Alright, that was a cool evil mode, but now let's get the Rohan adventures on the road. Oh, wait a minute. Does this mean that I have to... I think I have to do the orc battle again. Yeah, I have to do the orc battle again. Uh, I'll just... <laughs> oh, that cracks me up every time. Um, I don't know why. I'm just gonna do the orc battle and I'll see you on the other side. Beep! And Haddad is victorious once again. Alright, um... I do apologize, guys. I really have to cut this episode a bit shorter because I have something I gotta do in just a few minutes. But, uh, we'll keep playing and see how far we can get in this part. Oh yeah, Berthor gets the sword, I never had the time to check out. And this woman says, oh, you gotta go help the warrior. I'll never mess with orc people again. Old hatreds. Yeah, we watched that. Idril gets the spirit boost. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. How did it get a... No, no, no. Strength and... Oh, take some more strength. We need to boost ourselves up a bit now. Yeah, and you just need to survive more. And to place your skills on uh, instead of Valor and Endurance, give to Grey Heaven. That's my phone. A friend just told me cool with a smiley. That's kinda cool. Hey yo! Um <clears throat> Alrighty then. Moving on, let's see if we can find that warrior lady. I mean, I guess she's a lady. I'm I'm just guessing here. Like uh there we got her. Hurry, a is trapped here. Guys, meet the fifth companion. Her name is Morven, and she's actually kind of badass. If I was to replace Hadwood with somebody, it would have been Morven. But I'm not really sure if I will. I just have to see how she was, because I can't really remember how she is. And maybe I should have healed up before this fight. And who replaced Idril? That is not cool. 
Uh, Alright, um, dual axe craft. Let me just show you what this is all about. Alright, first we'll do a battle haste. Now, had it, uh, you need to get our friend here back on his. Oh, wait, no. We're gonna switch out Hadwood here. Um. Um. Oh, here we go. Here comes Idril! Alright, now that we are Idril here, we can put an aura. Or. Nah. Ooh! <gasps> Water Stallion! Ah, it's tempting to show you it right away, but first, we gotta get our friend back on his feet. Come on! Up you go! I am Jesus! And the sky struck fire. All right, we are all back. We are all ready. We're all strong, and we all got company. Valor. Ah. All right. Let me show you this girl. So we're gonna do. Oh, I guess we have to do double cleave then. So she's like this dual wielding uh, girl, and she can learn to do like a six uh, six string attack. It's kind of sick. But first, let me show you the water stallion. As the longest animation ever, but I think it's worth it. Bum bum bum! Oh god, we're gonna get so sick of this animation. With some flames in the background, of course. Here we go. Blah. And that is how we clear the room. Alright, and I'm gonna do a little double cleave on you. Gang! Oh, you missed. Uh, I'm still not sure if I should use uh, Mrs. Morwen. Or Miss Morwen, actually. Because I don't think she can replace Hadud, so I. No, I won't be using Morwen, actually. We'll just stick with Hadhood, because he's, he's the boss. Boom. Morgan got a helmet. Ah! I can only kill them once. Is this your village? It was. Most are dead. Many of my friends and family have fled this place. Where are they bound? I know not. Perhaps the ford? And south to Edoras. That is our road. Then you may join me. I must find them. What do you carry that makes you worthy? Wrath. Ruin. A few trinkets. That is all that remains of my life here. Alright, you got it. We saved the warrior. Morven's history. Here on the frontier, Rohan's families farm the land and hunt their food. It is not an easy life. In times of need, all able-bodied men ride to war, as did the brothers of this woman who you aided. Scarce in material goods, her family was forced to trade far and wide for necessities, and now their whereabouts are unknown. She now must travel south and search the plains. Aid her in this, for her destiny entwines with yours. Alright, you got it. So, Morven, how are you doing? We've got 15 points to spend on this girl. She's actually not that strong. It's, it kind of bugs me. She has a high dexterity, but doesn't really seem to help. Um, Alright, first of all, we need some more health on this girl. We need some more strength on this girl. And some more AP. She's not that strong, actually. Ooh, hundred strength. Mm. Oh, we got all these uh, slashing defense. She really needs slashing. You know, you can just take all these polished stones. Actually, it's gonna help you out a bit. We need everybody to be strong, although we're not using them all the time. Let's see. This gives more strength. And Spirit loses a lot of constitution. And gives us... 
I'm keeping this because of the const. So more when she's learning Rage of the Maiden. Oh, let's learn Twin Wounds instead. She also has this uh, Thief Craft, which is kind of cool actually. Drain stuff from them. So she can do some pretty cool stuff here. But still, I'm not gonna use you. Options on hard. Everything is good. We need to change out. Uh, we need to change out the battles, the battle people again, because we don't want Morvin in our party. She's cool and all, but still, no, nope, not good enough. Dual save. <sighs> Rohan, Morvan's village. Got some riders right here. Get out of here, guys. Your riders gather near Helm's Deep. Aemir will join you there. All right. There's not the riders in the village are gone. Warg ambushes. I must be brief, Gondorian, for great events have been set in motion. I ride to send Irma to war. Grima flees to Isengard, filled with wrath. Saruman will feed upon his anger and treachery. They will send out their fastest riders to slay the refugees. They will be led by Sharku, the servant whose mind he has long possessed. Others ride ahead of you, Gondorian. Shark whose warg bands fill the hills. Stay on it. So Shark is gonna be like the last boss of Rohan, if I'm not completely mistaken. Or is it completely mistaken or mistaking? I'm not really sure. Anyways, we could go this way, but I think I'm not really sure what's the best way. But we'll just head over this way. Because we gotta find all the riders and such. All this fun stuff. Big open areas and a chance to test our might. Ah, not even a loud water can kill our enemies anymore. Yep, we're going to help Steve, people. Riders are another. St Come on, I just fixed them. Rohan's riders. The king of Rohan has a son, Theodric. Guards others of his family, Eoma, who is banished, and Eowyn, the shield maiden of Rohan. Yay, Eowyn! Theoden's son was slain by Saruman's orcs. With him perishes the future of his line. With him perishes Theoden's hope. The king shall despair. This bodes ill for the people of Rohan. At least he's not corrupted anymore. Theodred enters the tombs of his forebears, but leaves behind a war that must be won. Gondorian, you must help them defend their kingdom. Their future is up to you. You got it, Gandalf. I will not let the people of Rohan down. Alright, let's enter the cave here. What horrors awaits us in here? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Is there anything in here? No, not a single treasure chest or anything. Oh, no, 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 no. I have Sauron. Be, be gone, be gone, be gone. Ah. There we go. What? Oh, come on now. Elgos gets a new cloak. Everybody's happy. Ooh, armor mushrooms. Hi, Elgos. Let me see that cloak. Ooh, epic cloak, man. And nothing else to be done here. Alright, now let's try and get back without being seen by the eye. And run out. This way. Join with Aomir at Helm's Deep. War comes. Alright, now they are out of here. But still, we're not done in this cave, so uh, we gotta head back inside. Riding to Etheris. You must know how events are changing as you travel toward Etheris. 
I emerged from Fangorn with my companions. Shadowfax, the Meris of this land, consented to carry me forth in haste. We did not tarry, reaching the Golden Hall as quickly as our mounts could carry us. There I shall lift Saruman's curse and steal Rohan for war. Seems to be kind of in an awkward order because in this uh, in this movie Gandalf hasn't lifted the curse from the king yet, but the one we just saw he had. So, well, that's kind of weird. Right, there are some treasures in this cave that we still haven't found. Some secrets we haven't uncovered. And that's why we're going back. Oh yeah. Right, let's first head up here and avoid the eye. Yep. Oh, Palantir fight. Let's do this. <gasps> mm -mm. Oh no, we're surrounded again. We are surrounded. And now... Um, look, okay. Oh no, I can't switch out. Why can't I... Uh, uh, weird, I can't seem to switch out characters. Alright, I guess I'll have to just play with you then. The water stallion, I just got infected three of them, but still. Water stallion. If if I see this animation a lot, I'll just uh, uh, skip forward um, or speed it up during editing. But for now, you can watch it in its eternity or full length or whatever. I, I don't know, I'm not American, I'm not English, I'm Norwegian, I don't speak that well English, okay? Alright, that was good. He's gonna do a lethal bite against B Berthor's balls. We're gonna place a weeping blade on him. Brutal clawing from behind. Right, now you're gonna... Right, my L1 button doesn't seem to be working. Alright, let's just do this. We got a workbane ready for a situation like this. Bam, bam! No, I misadded a lot. Yeah, we gotta switch out quickly. Oh god dang it. Morvan, you suck! Oh good. Right. Right, give me some time to attack now. Right, this does not look good for our party right here. Doesn't seem like we can actually switch out in this fight. Oh god. Ooh, Shadowcroft. I haven't seen this yet actually. Uh, oh god. Alright, first of all, we gotta heal up here. We gotta find something strong. Like this. Oh, that was nothing. Hopefully can keep Idol alive. I don't wanna play as this girl, okay? Alright, now we're gonna do this. Now we're gonna do this. We need to give ourselves some... Um, leaves! Oh, I don't even know. Maybe I should just attack. I'm not sure, I'm kinda confused. Probably doing some stupid stuff. Come on, Idriel. Why can't I never play as Idriel? I can't do this without Idril. Alright, I gotta do this myself, it seems. Uh, he's not a problem, actually. This guy isn't. Alright. I did not mean to attack this guy, but... Oh, God. Hi oh, good. A little counter-attack. Good, 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 Idril. Oh, we're so close to death. Come on. Just please, let me play as Idriel. Let me play... Ah. Uh, thank you. Just in time. Now, let's get the aura up. Uh. Right, now let's try and get out of this mess. Now, this is the more challenging stuff. I like this, actually. Back from the dead. And now I can place a... 
I need another aura. I'll place an aura on Barathor. Because I don't think they can kill Idril so quickly. By the way, Idril's poking her hand through her own sword when doing that. Oh, really? You want to kill Barathor? Oh, no. Not Barathor. Wait, that's right. Powers. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna pay for that. Like Philian Roth. Bang. And you're dead. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, good. Now we could, or we could take out these two. Uh, what the hell, we just killed them. Here comes the horsey! There we go. Cleared a lot of enemies. Alright, now we'll finish this guy. That is not how you finish a person. Good job, Berthor. We really gotta turn around right here. Uh, yes, we gotta do a little... Wheel about. Good. Now, guys, get over here. Let me use a water stallion on you. When we learn Gift of Grey Haven, it's gonna be a lot easier healing every everybody in the group. Horsey power! Good job, Idril. You just saved the entire team. <laughs> Just randomly turn around, okay. Now, that was one of the toughest battles I've had so far. Especially outside of Moria. A third age Jagged Skimitar of Dunlan. Dunlan, Duneland. An epic scene. Big friends, hum 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 hum. The smallest of this world are about to perform the greatest of deeds. This is foretold. Last of Saruman's pursuing orcs have awakened the most powerful of the Ents. Hello there. They shall now gather with many of their friends. And the Ents will find the will. Ents party! Oompa oompa. To war, freeing you, my friend. Ents versus Isengard. Let's do it. Ooh, level. Foreign spirits. That is how we do it. That was ooh, quite a hectic battle. Ooh, 41. Epic. Orthanx forges his fairest blade in cap incapacitates enemies. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. Gift 7, ah, uh, still far away from where it's supposed to be. And hopefully in the next uh, in the next episode I can switch out Morven for Hadid again. <clears throat> so yes, I hope you've enjoyed um, episode, what is it, is it 14? 15, I hope you've enjoyed episode 15 of Let's Play the Third Age. Uh, uh, my name is Voices from the Dark, you can subscribe if you like my videos, that would mean the world to me. Because I just love getting your comments. Your comments really brighten my day. And this has been Idril and her superb cleavage. She's probably the best in a team. And Idril's not that bad too. So... Yeah. Little aerial view here. And we should be good. I've been focusing too much on Idril's cleavage throughout this let's play. I'm sorry. It's just that... I don't, I don't even know anymore. I'll see you in the next part. Have a nice day and... Take boob, I mean, take care.